what an honor it is to be here and to be speaking with you and for, for you to be the first people, really, uh, to see this film. And, um, and it's also very special for me because this happens to be the 10th anniversary of Doc Emmett Productions. And um, 10 years ago, um, in this very theater, um, we, we showed the first film of Doc Emmett Productions, uh, The Case for Israel Democracy's Outpost. So this is a very sort of sentimental uh, uh, experience for me. And it was also, um, I knew that this would be the, 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 the audience and the place where this film should open because um, it's going to be really interesting traveling with this film, showing it to some other audiences, as you can imagine. Um, before I, I, I make some more remarks, I, I want to acknowledge some people who are in the audience. And, and the first person I, want, I would like to acknowledge is my um, executive producer, George Violin, who's the best executive producer in the world. George, where are you? Would you want to stand up? Thank you. Thank you. And my wonderful crew, Alan Jakubovic, along with you, Stan, and Patrick Sarabi, congratulations, and Alan Jakubovic. Thank you so much. And this really was. Uh, this really was a team effort. Um, I'd like to invite, I, I, I want to say one other thing, and then I'd like to invite Vic, uh, Victor Davis Hansen up um, so that we can do some um, Q&A together. Is Victor here? Okay. Oh, right here. Oh. <laughs> uh, and also, George, if you have anything that you would like to, to uh, to say, you're, you're welcome to join us. Um, but I wanted to just, before we start the q and I wanted to tell you why I made this film. Um, I made this film because I didn't think there was any choice to make any other film, because this is the film that had to be made. Um, I, you know, they are very committed, dedicated, activists and thinkers um, who are working on various issues that we've seen in here, but I really felt it was important to, for us to connect the dots and to understand that we're not going to uh, be able to achieve uh, the end of persecution of Christians or Jews. We're not going to be able to stop what is happening in the academy. We're not going to be able to stop the assault on, on our constitutional rights um, until we see what this really is, which is an ideological war against the West. And we have to, we have to help people understand what that means, and we have to help people understand that they have to make a choice. Do they want to live in the world that we were meant to live in? Or do they want to live in a war, in a, in a world that is hellish? And so, um, my hope is that everyone who sees this film will be inspired to act, and also will um, urge other people to see the film and discuss it with them. Thank you. So, 